Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to another spooky episode of Graveyard Keeper. Honestly, if I'm speaking perfectly candid here, it's actually not as scary as you may think it is. We have money now, therefore we have affluence, therefore we have power over our local jurisdiction as, an, as a person of society that has money to influence the powerful rulers of the world. Honestly, I don't know if that part, that sort of like politics of it all have been implemented in this game in particular, but to succinctly state what had happened last time was we became an aristocrat. Finally, it seemed that I had figured out, I'd cracked the code of becoming rich in this game. And to become rich, you literally have to sell gemstones. You can create jewelry. That, that's, if anybody out there is struggling with trying to make financial progress in this game, the way to do it is to get diamonds, make jewelry, and sell it. To the uh to sell it to miss charm and the merchant which means you have to go along the miss charm quest line um it's it's interesting it, it took a lot affluence equals influence you t t can't can't lie can't even lie there you're totally right lorelei don't lie that's true that's spitting straight facts right there now at this point i don't exactly know what to do actually i do know what to do next the next thing that i have to do is i know i need to talk to snake on Green Day, on, on, on Green Day, on Green Day, I can give Snake a dark heart that I've been keeping for him. I have been trying to get this dark heart for so long, and coincidentally, I managed to get that the last stream, which is awesome, because I was waiting on that for so long to be able to give it to him. Also, I made a cocktail earlier. It was awesome. It combines Kirschwasser, which is cherry flavor, basically, or like a light cherry flavor, with espresso, which is a it's a coffee flavor, and it's such a good combination. Oh my, I, I goodness, I can't wait to do my write-up on that. It's it's lovely. I have my aristocrat papers to prove that I'm affluent. I've got my stories to tell. I got, there's plenty of stuff going on here. Do I have carrots to, yeah, I got more bodies. How many bodies do I, oh, I have eight bodies in the morgue. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Wow, I need to, I need to take care of y'all. You're a bad body, I don't like you. How body are you? How, how are you? Uh, you're not- I don't- I don't like body. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of you too. Uh, what are you guys? Nah, I don't like you. Uh, you I also don't like. Uh, how about you? How are you? Ah, uh, you! You're okay looking. Honestly, I'd rather just- I don't need these guys. I'm gonna set you all on fire. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, unless- do you have- do you have organs that I want? Another dark heart. Just because there's just, these are so freaking hard to come by, I'm gonna take this one too. I'm taking this. This is mine now. Give me another dark heart. Eat these maggots. These maggots give me food. Amazing. But now the body is useless to me, so. And that is the last dark organ that I think I'll ever have to take, because I don't think we need any more, unless there's use for them. Maybe I can sell them. Maybe. Dark brain I'll keep in there. That's okay. Because when you add red skulls, you can gain more white skulls in the long run if you i think what do i have to do this adds white i want ones that take away white skulls like this one but fat will also remove one of that from that's okay i will extract the fat from this guy try to guys nice, nice good bodies there you're looking okay uh anybody else have good stuff and uh, i'll take your blood out I need your blood yeah that's fine and you got a you got a fiver. That's fine. You're, you're cool. I like that. You, your fiver is good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the time and gonna drag all these bodies down to the the proper area. Actually, I'm just gonna kind of throw them out the front door. Yeah, actually, this is probably a good way to go about doing that. I'm just gonna throw them out the front door, and then I'm just gonna push into them. No, 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 no. Just like that. See, just like that. Yeah, you go that way, and then I will put you all in the cremation chamber, or at least I plan to. I will burn all of you. I can I can promise you that. If there's one thing that I can promise is that your bodies will go up in flames. Move down that way. Thank you. I don't know who any of you all are, but all your bodies will be at rest as ash in the air. Just as Ash Ketchum would have wanted. From dust to dust. From ashes to ashes. Pokemon. Gotta, gotta cremate them all, I suppose. Oh, God. Uh, I can set you on fire. I need to build more of this stuff, but I don't have enough billets. But in order to get more billets, I need wood. I need to get more wood. Gotta chop down trees. In order to chop down trees. I should really have... Can I build a zombie tree farm? Because I think th one of the most annoying things to do is chop down trees. And I don't like doing that. Like, at all. 
I really hate chopping down trees. That's one of my least favorite activities, because I'm always running out of wood. You know, now that I'm an aristocrat, now that I'm a rich-ass boy, I should just outsource everything. I should make everybody do my work for me. And I could use some of these highly motivated dead people to do so. I should consider that. The next time I decide to burn a body, I should consider what its value to me would be reanimated. Oh look, a bunch of wood. Clearly a past me predicted the plights of present me. Future me. Future me of the past is me today. And that's... That's good. That's good. It's glad... To, I always like the idea that a past self of mine is looking out for my current self. Because I'll find money in my pant legs sometimes. Sometimes I'll, I'll find myself in a situation where because of my achievements of the past... This door has opened for me, and I like I look to my past self, and I'm like, I, I love you, man. Thank you so much for doing this for me. You are you are an absolutely wonderful person, or at least you were once upon a time. I don't know if I'm as good a person now as I am previously. I'm trying to tell myself that I'm improving every day. However, you know, it all depends. It depends on your perspective. Life is a constant game of self-improvement. If you so feel that there is room for improvement, if you are perfect just the way that you are and you agree with that statement, all right. But always watch out. I, for one, try to, I like to be, I like to consider myself like a perfect person, quote unquote, perfect person, effectively perfect, perfect person from my point of view. However, I fear that it may lead to complacency one day and I don't want to be a complacent person. And by that, I mean like you are so like, you're so good with where you are that you don't want change at all. And what that manifests of as is like almost stifling your own growth. At least that's the way that I see it. I'm afraid to stifle my own growth because I'm sure the person that I can be in a month from now can always be greater than the person I am today. Which is like, honestly, if you take a look at that from another perspective, it puts a lot of pressure on myself to always be doing things, which is probably where at least one of my many complexes come from. Or at least what I'm calling complexes. It, it's, I'm not I'm not a therapist or anything. I'm not a trained psychologist. I have no right to be saying that I have complexes. Because that feels like a diagnosis. And I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm an engineer. Technically, I'm not a licensed engineer. I just realized the other day, like, I can become, like... If I take appropriate tests, I can, like, get, like, an engineering certification. Not, like, engineering degrees. I have degrees for engineering. However, I don't have engineering certifications. Which I guess would make me, like, a professional? I, I don't know what the term would be. But, like, technically by that standard, I am not... I am not a certified engineer. I just kind of do things that an engineer would do. Give me some... Uh, I don't... Do I need to worry about the beer? Do I need to worry about the burgers? I still can't sell things yet, so I don't really... I don't really need to worry about that. Hmm. What don't I need in my inventory? What I really want is this. I want the burial certificate. Oh, I don't have any energy. That's what I need. Uh, I'll eat these pumpkins. I'm not particularly worried about making money anymore. I know jewelry is where it's at. Burn, burn, everybody. Burn, burn, everybody. Burn, burn, everybody. Burn, 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 burn. Burning all the time in my backyard. Singing a happy song. As everybody goes to hell. <laughs> It's, that's my laugh there. I didn't plan that one out in advance. If I build all these guys and I burn them, then I won't have to worry about them anymore. There we go. Perfect. A perfect combination of burning corpses. The next thing, I, I mean, I'm just kind of waiting until green day, so I'm making progress. Progress is being made. I'm getting all these burial certificates. They don't sell for much, but... They're helpful anyways. Come on, give me your certificate. I want to send it for money. I want to prove to the world that I've done good. Nice. Alrighty then. Now, well, it's the end of the claw day. I don't really need, I didn't really need anything for claw day, right? Could I have made any, many more shipments? Let me check that actually. Shipments, 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 shipments. No. Nah. No, nah, I'm not going to worry about that then. What I will do is I will just kind of go down here and I will put my crops away if I can. Yeah, I can put my crops away. Put the pumpkins away. Pumpkins. The onions and the onions. I don't need those in my inventory. Oh, and the the peat as well. Let me. Uh, what can I take out of here? I literally don't use hemp. I don't know why I have. Why do I have bowls up here? I don't need bowls up here. 
That's what I'll take out of there. I don't need that. Make some more... I have to make some more compost, though, because compost is... Compost is... That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. I'm in a very sing-songy mood today. Things, songs just keep coming to my head. Little tunes. Little medleys. Little ditties. This is a little ditty called... I don't even know. Where's my kazoo? Where's my kazoo at a time like this? This is a little ditty I call Diddy. Oh, come on. That's my ditty. <laughs> Thank you for watching me produce my ditty for you. I don't like the way that sounds. Something about that don't seem right. Now come to think of it, I now have a problem with the word Diddy. I now don't like the idea of somebody show me, showing for me or playing a Diddy. Diddy also doesn't sound like a word anymore. How unfortunate. Ugh. Well, it's time to sleep, I guess. I guess I'll sleep till tomorrow. I can talk to Snake you, given this heart. And finally progress the storyline further. I think the heart is the last thing I need for his endgame item. There are six endgame items. And I think we're close to at least one of them. I'll just kind of wait downstairs until I find Snakey. Snakey! Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Where are you, buddy? Yes! Maybe he's already by his sacrificial... Sa sacrificial? Sacrificial chamber? I don't know. Diddy Kong has been banned. No. Oh, yeah. No, no. We got to get that name out of here. No more ditties. No more ditties. I've got a dark heart for you. Here you go. Oh, what is this? Oh, a whole cutscene. At last, everything is ready. Just a second. Wait here. I need to gather my followers. I don't remember what this guy's voice was. It's been so long. Oh, Jerry. Look, Jerry's in the corner. How long do I need to wait? Jerry? What's up, buddy? I see you bouncing in the corner. Sard, at least an hour, maybe two. Jerry, is that you? What are you doing bouncing in the corner? You've been sitting in my chamber for so long. What a stupid question. Of course it's me. Of course it is. Why did I bother asking? I wouldn't miss the ceremony for the world. It should be hilarious. Do you know what snake is going to summon? Sard, yes. Actually, as his inner voice, I know he who, he, who he would like to summon. But I have another guess about who he's actually going to get. I can't wait to see. So let's wait. Alright. Alright. Oh, there he comes. Here he is. Here comes the snake. There he comes. Here he is. Here comes the snake. Today's the day. I don't even... I don't even... Today I get what I've wanted for my entire life. That's the one. What is it? I curse all of them, all of my anger. I sacrifice it for you. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Appear among us, I beg you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Father, father, what? Father, you have a dad? I guess I do too. Oh, cut. Oh my God. Five guardsmen, we're here. Fathers, go with. It's the Inquisitor. Sorry, this is brilliant. Oh, God. F Father. What? Where? What? Black magic. Now I see it's you. I, I remember your face. My son is dead. You are a creature of darkness. He was burned with his mother. The house on which hill, mother threw me out of the window, just before the beams collapsed. You wove me a small horse out of vines. I called it Flame. Son, is it you? Seth, I am your father. Oh my god, and the cult, the, the, Monsignor, we're here. And the guardsmen knew where to go? Did they knew that I had this down here? You, you disappeared. Grab him, boys. No, stop. Let them go. Return to headquarters. B but, uh... Do it! Son. It's like a dream. So, uh, can, can we go too? 
Of course go, just don't. No room in the moment. Get out of here. Ruining my moment between father and son. Yeah, you know, I'd... I better go too. Wait, it seems that my ritual was a success after all. Here, my endless notebook is yours. I hope it'll help you to get back to your loved one. Thanks. It's mine now. And take my eternal burning coal. I don't think I want to burn anybody anymore. Thank you, Monsignor. Appreciate that. Just call me Edward. What we're going to do about it? What we are going to do about the guardsmen? They saw us. We need to get back to the town first. What a twist. But old Jerry knew. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, the old school knew. Seth, brother Cain and Abel. Don't talk about Seth. Ha <laughs> ha. York lost the bet. York, the ghost. And I'm one step closer to my love. Actually, I'm two step clo steps closer to my love. Wow. We're only a couple, like, ten-ish minutes into the uh, the Graveyard Keeper portion of the stream. And my goodness, we've already got two of the endgame items. I bet they come in pairs. They probably come in pairs. They ac Actually, they most definitely do, definitely do. But I got it. The Endless Notebook and the Burning Coal. Yes! Excellent! Those are two of the endgame items. There's four more! Nice. God, what are we gonna do for the rest of this trip? I guess I'll just put these guys in a little box. I got a little box in my... In my house, I think. Right? Do I have a... I got a cabinet. I can put them on the cabinet. There we go. I'll put the Eternal Burning Coal and the Endless Notebook. Specifically the Eternal Burning Coal on my very wooden uh, cabinets. Because I want my house to burn down. Honestly... I agree. That was rather surprisingly wholesome on all sides, considering they, that they were on both sides of the whole thing. One was burning all the heathens, and the other guy basically was a heathen. But, hey, you know what? Love conquers all. Or so the tail of me. Well, I'll put the feather in there. I have my burning coal now. Actually, I want to take... Let me take these with me, and I'll bring them to the portal. I wonder, now that... Now that I have that, can I conduct witch burnings? I wonder... I wonder if I can. I feel like I feel like I'd definitely be able to conduct witch burnings now. And do I want to feel personally responsible for that? Yes, I do. I burn dead people. Might as well burn people alive as well. It's simple, easy, and awesome. I spill my cocktail over myself. Oh, I also forgot that I have some I have some cinnamon bread here. Mmm, it's so good. It's like Cinnabon. It's really, really good. All right, so can I burn bodies now with the power of the eternal coal? Well, I guess does that imply that the Inquisitor was using the burning coal to burn the witches' bodies? Is that the case? Can I put things down now? Nope, can't burn witches. Okay, what if I click the pile? Nope, can't do that. I can go up here though. Oh, I see. They come in pairs. That makes sense. All right, so I need the mirror, which I'm guessing comes from Miss Charm. The, what I'm guessing is a sextant, when I'm, which I'm pretty sure comes from the astrologer. The rusty, the, the fork, which comes from the merchant. And then the necklace. Oh, maybe that comes from Miss Charm. Who gets what again? I don't remember. Um, snake, Miss Charm, and the bishop. Oh, the bishop. The bishop has the mirror. That's who's got it. Yeah, that's, that's definitely who has it. I don't know what I have to, what do I have to do next for the bishop? I have to get the graveyard to level 200. So for that, I just needed to make a bunch of things out of stone. So I could probably do that this episode too. The astrologer find a way to earn Miss Charm's forgiveness. I should probably check in with him because I don't have anything. Get the greatest love song ever. In order to get the greatest love song ever, I talked to Wagner, right? I think he was the guy to talk to. He, he makes songs, right? Who else makes songs? Oh, maybe somebody else in the village knows a song. Oh, you know? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the dude left something here. All right. We're screwed. I'm growing hair in strange places. Meet me at night at sea, cliffs near the mountain fort. All right. Meet me at night at sea cliffs near the mountain fort. All righty then. Hey, you. What are you doing standing there? All creepy like. What are you doing all sitting there? All creepy like. What about you, sir? Bad luck. As always, there is always bad luck. Maybe I have to fish first in order to talk to that guy. Perchance. Anybody else to talk to? I just can talk to the astrologer on moon day. We're still partway through the day. You know, I have a fishing rod, don't I? I do. Let's go fishing again. Let's attempt fishing 
yet another time. Actually, I bet I can probably talk to the fisherman. I have all this money now, so I can spend that money to buy a lure or something from the fisherman, the angler, and see if I can use that for fishing. Because I've never been able to catch a fish. Not once, and I don't exactly know what. Oh, wait a minute. This is a bridge that's broken. I have to go down this way? Wait, is the bridge broken? No, no, no. There was just another path to it. I got so freaked out from him. I was like, no way that the bridge is broken. That's BS, bro. This is the lighthouse. Angler? Hey, buddy. Can I buy a lure from you? I'll trade. Buy, buy a lure? Buy a lure? Buy a lure? Buy a lure? I'll buy the best lure in the lure of the gym. Yes, I will. I will purchase that. Thank you. Now, can I utilize this lore? No. All right, well, where is the closest fishing spot? I believe the closest one is over by the beach. So I'll go to the beach, try some fishing. I was unaware of the fact that I may need a lure for fishing, because the game didn't instruct me to do so, but sometimes you just got to figure this stuff out on your own. All right, shall we fish? Can I fish? All right. Oh, there we go. Different baits affect getting different fish types. Oh! Oh. I'm not going to catch any fish like this. Okay. I didn't realize I could use maggots as bait. That kind of makes sense. Oh, wait. So if I just... If I just get it in the right spot... There we go. So now what? I guess I just wait. That makes sense. So... Fancy seeing y'all here. This reminds me of the time where I went fishing. I caught some things. Actually, come to think of it, there's a pond way in the back of the forest near my parents' house. And so I think the, the pond back there probably came up from like a spring where um, there's a spring that was back there that a quarry must have hit or something. And so it caused a little pond to form back there. Um, and so it, the, the pond has life in it. And so we used to go back there, my brothers and I, and we would go fishing every once in a while. And at least on one case, we brought back a whole bucket of fish. And the most prominent memory from that day was the fact that oh, I just saw the water bobbing. Maybe I'm just seeing things. But I'll keep a watch on that. But the most prominent memory I have from that day was with the bucket of fish, we left it out on the driveway and we came back to see that one of our cats had gotten into the bucket and was just eviscerating this fish. Like, was really going to town on this thing. Probably because the cat was hungry, perhaps? Maybe? I don't know. Am I supposed to be moving this bob around? There's no buttons to click or anything like this. If I click X, nothing happens. Y, nothing happens. B... Just goes away. Alright. I'll try the maggot again. Am I supposed to just click a button or something? I don't know how to fish. Maybe I'll wait for a bob. Potentially. It's very possible that I'm just not waiting long enough. Nope. Okay. That was interesting. Let's try it again. I'm just going to keep on trying it. If I just throw the thing in the water and then pull upwards... No. I, I don't understand. And I'm using my maggots. I don't know what to do. I believe that's the correct spot to go fishing in. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Oh my goodness, I forgot to click the buttons again. Uh, go away. There we go. These are my specs of my computer. I like, I don't know. Am I supposed to just wait here for, you know what, actually, because I'm so entirely confused on this, I'll keep my finger on the A button. And look up how to fish. Fishing. Graveyard Keeper. Because it's confusing. And apparently using bait isn't the thing. Consuming white fish food to get a better effects while fishing. I got that. But how do you fish? To be able to start fishing, one only needs to obtain a fishing rod. Available exclusively from the Lighthouse Keeper. After either bringing him a small collection of moths. I got that. Fishing itself is a minigame. After selecting a bait... Hold E to commit to a cast and browse 
each of the three sub areas unique to each location, releasing E to cast the line. Occasionally, the fishing float bobber will move vertically, signaling a bite and require the player to left click at the precise moment in order to hook a fish. Completely missing this time window will only inflict a penalty based on cast cost, while a failed attempt will end the cast and use up bait. Oh, okay, am I just not bobbing at the right time? Oh my god! That was totally it. And this is definitely Stardew Valley. This is Stardew Valley's sissing system. Oh my god. I can't believe that I never just clicked at the right time. That's crazy. I don't need these fishes on me. Give me this fish. I got an eel. Can I research eels? Maybe I can make fish oil from this. Actually, I guess if I put more bait in the water, I will find more eels. Oh, because eels, there's a 100% chance of finding eels here. I'm going to bring back a couple of eels. I want to learn about the eels. Give me more information on the eels. See, that's all it took. Oh my god. Literally all it took. Oh, I suppose... I probably should have imagined. Well, I guess in the past, every single time I tried to click it when the bobber was up, I wouldn't get a fish. It would end the cast, which was apparently a critical failure on my part. So I was under the impression that I was just doing something wrong. And so I just stopped utilizing that method. Apparently I was wrong. That's how we fish. And now I can get eels. Incredible. Oh, wait, actually, I still have to stay around here because I have to meet Wagner near the mountain fort at night. So I guess I have to hang around here for a little bit. Oh, wait. Oh, somebody walked from this location. Ah, it was me. Of course. It was me, Dio Brando! Muda, 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 muda. In Stardew Valley. It's like Stardew, but less clear without a Wally or whatever nice fisherman was named. I think it was Wally. That sounds familiar. Wally like a walleye. Which I think is a type of fish. Yeah. I will, I will say, overall... This game does a rather poor job of explaining what the hell you're supposed to do. It's like, I like, I need to, I need to guess. And in a way, it reminds me of like older games where like, you wouldn't necessarily get to where you needed to go or find all the secrets unless you messed around with things for a little while, which is a good thing. I think a little bit of exploration is necessary, but when like, for example, when a crucial aspect of the game, for example, where you're supposed to build the crematorium. If you don't make that necessarily clear to the player, then it causes insane, like, blocks in progress. I was stuck for a really, really long time not knowing how to get blue points, but then eventually we got past that. I was stuck for a while not knowing where to cremate bodies at. Eventually got past that because of a tip from the community. Thank you once again for that. I was stuck for a while because I didn't know where to get the dark organs from. I had to progress farther in the Inquisitor storyline, which I guess... The main message of this game in particular is, if you don't know what you're doing or you're stuck, do the NPC quests. Talk to the villagers and stuff, because they will give you, I guess, an idea of where you're supposed to be going. Which, like, I mean, yeah, but also nah? I don't know. All in all, I still love this game, and I'm very entertained by it. Also, where the hell is Wagner? Wagner, where are you? I will meet you at night. Do you have a particular day that I need to meet you at night? Meet me at night at Sea Cliffs near the mountain fort. Oh, the Sea Cliffs. At Sea Cliffs. At Sea Cliffs. Meet me at Sea Cliffs. And I will tell you all about the love story that I wrote for the boy, the girl, or whatever. All right, Sea Cliffs. Sea Cliffs? Sea Cliffs? Nice. I am at Cliffs. They are near the sea. Wagner, where are you? Wagner? Buddy. These these are the cliffs near the sea, yes? Definitely. Um, wait, wait, wait. Do I need to go into the mountain fort? No way. I can't go to the mountain fort yet, can I? What is this place? The path leads to the no entries permitted. Uh, Wagner? Where are you, buddy? Maybe he's down by the water? If that's the case, I would not put it past this game to be like sea cliffs and then be like, be like, cliffs? No, just the sea. This is the beach. Wagner, buddy, there's a bridge that don't go nowhere. Oh, these are cliffs near the sea. 
Oh, brother. Wagner, where are you? Buddy? Buddy. Buddy. No. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a sea over here, too. But this isn't near the mountain fort. Hold on. No, no. Before I let this knight pass me, I am not missing Wagner. I am not gonna miss Wagner. Wagner. Sea cliffs. Graveyard keeper. Where the hell is this guy? How to find Wagner at Mount Fort and Graveyard. Seriously, though. Seriously, though. People have searched it enough. Okay, okay. Liquid. Write a song. All right. Do the booze, the mushroom, side effects, whatever. Mountain Fort. In the end, they immediately proceed to... Oh. Take him to the Mountain Fort. After all this, you... No, stop. Stupid ads on my phone. Ugh. Take him to the Mountain Fort. After all this, you end up with song lyrics in my pockets. But where is... You try to calm, but at the same time, moment, patrolling guards stumble upon the... Two of you. Wait, what? Upon visiting the tavern the next day, you will find a note. Come to the cliffs near the mountain fort at night. He will be to the right of the Gypsy Baron, nowhere near Dig of the Lighthouse. I was literally just up there. R right? Directly to the right of the Gypsy Baron. I was definitely at the right of the Gypsy Baron. Near the cliffs. More the Sea of Cliffs. Or maybe he just got there. For Or maybe the night is too late. Oh, no. I hope not. Wagner, please. Please don't do this to me. Alright, Gypsy Baron. Gypsy, Gypsy Baron. Where's Wagner? B buddy. V Wagner? Voggy boy? Oh, alrighty then. I... I am just gonna... Come back the next night, I guess. This is confusing. Alright, well, it's upward facing day, meaning I guess I'll go to the top of Witch Hill and see whether or not uh, our boy, the Inquisitor, who has found his son, is ready to talk and perhaps make a deal. Also, I'm gonna go fishing now that I know how to do that. I will find all the fishes and eat all the fishes, maybe. I wonder if there's an achievement for catching all the different types of fish. There probably is, if I had to imagine. Alright, you don't go very far. There we go. Good fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. What kind of fish are you? I don't need to feed Mavid. I don't need carrot seeds. Get this carrot seed out of here. A gudgeon! Gudgy gudgy. Gudgy gudgy! Very, very good fish. Very nice fish. Nice fish. Good fish. We all fish for fish fish. Thank you fish. The fish is good. The fish is very good. I don't know why I'm... Oh, I'm because I'm going to talk to... Hopefully the Inquisitor at the top of Witch Hill. I'm also going to check back in at the tavern and see if Wagner's note is still there. Which it is. And it doesn't say anything. It's fine. Maybe I'm supposed to just wait till the next night. Maybe by the time that I found the note, it was already two nights for the encounter to occur. For all I know. I... I don't know. Having a, having a great time. Having a good time. Having a good time? Yeah! In any case, I'm wondering, so if I go see the Inquisitor, if he's up there on the hill, maybe he'll be, like, reinvigorated to begin the witch burnings again. And if that's the case, then I can sell hamburgers and whatnot to get more money in the meantime. It's all part of the gig economy. We sell gems, we sell fruits, veggies. We don't sell fruits, there's no fruits. Uh, but we also sell burgers and beer. It's positive. Hey, bud. Leave. Okay. Nope. No burn, no burn witches. All right, I guess I have no use for the cheeseburgers and whatnot anymore, so. No more cheeseburger for me. Back to sweet home. All right, that's that's fine. I'll just, I'll keep the food. I'll, I'll drink the food. I have beer and whatnot. That's great. That's, that's good. Beer is good. We like beer and beer is good. And so we will, we'll beer together. In the interim, I will go research these fishies. See what I can learn from them. See what I can just make them into. I wonder what kind of alchemical reagents I can create from this. It's unclear to me now. I'm guessing oil. Fish. Oh, I forgot. You make books for me now. Where do you put the books, though? Oh, you're not done with this book. Nice. You keep on doing what you're doing, my guy. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Let's get a fish. Research fish. Cannot be decomposed. Excellent. What about eel? Eel oil? Eel oil? Powder. All right. Powder. Powder can be made over here. 
<laughs> Edward's reaction be like, Sorry, son. The burgers compelled us. Oh, eels are electric. They give me electric power powder. That's oddly useful. So unbeknownst to me, these are electric eels, which I didn't realize. Shock me like an electric eel. Oh, excuse me. I didn't know that. Flyers. I don't need flyers. Oh, excuse me. See, for a good burger, like ones from the Keeper Tavern, you'll want to do anything. What would you do for a Keeper Burger? Oof. What would you do for a Keeper Burger? I know what I'd do. I'd burn someone alive. And feel absolutely no remorse until I see my long-lost son for the first time. In years. I love you, son. I'm gonna keep the Dark Heart in here. I don't need these maggots. I have the lore. I just remembered I have the lore as well. I wonder what if there's any sort of special fish that I can find with the lore at the gym. Which I purchased for a very, very convenient price, if I do say so myself. Well, it's almost nighttime now, and because I don't want to possibly mi miss the nighttime that Wagner was talking about, I'm going to go to the mountain fort, and I'm just going to hang. I'm just going to hang by the cliffs until this boy comes. And, and while I hang by the cliff, I think what I will do is I will... Um, I'm gonna eat my, eat my little cinnamon bread. This is my cinnamon bread. Anna toasted it for me. Very tasty. Every once in a while, we like to snack on things. I'm also like, I feel bad sometimes. I'm slowly getting over it. But sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to be eating on stream. That's rude. But like, dude, I snack sometimes. And sometimes I get hungry. When I get hungry, I just gotta go for it. Sometimes consumption is necessary. For example, a drink here or there. A bread piece of bread here and there. Chips. Or some other creation. Wagner, buddy. Work with me here. Somewhere, there is a fish scientist crying over the tragedy of the electric-producing night fish mislabeled as an eel and how it's stuck with eels as a whole. I actually didn't realize that they're not eels. Is that, is, that a, is that a thing? That electric eels are not actually eels at all? Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. That's something I didn't know about. Then again, there are plenty of other oddities in this world, honestly. Alright. Wagner. Buddy. I swear, okay, I swear the internet said directly to the right of the Gypsy Baron. And I'm going to check this again, because this frustrates me now. Nowhere near, he will be to the right of the Gypsy Baron, nowhere near Dig or the Lighthouse. When you do, he'll emerge from hiding. Emerge from hiding? He's hiding? I'm sorry, what? He's hidden in one of these bushes? Dude, no. Seriously? No. Okay, is he in one of these bushes? Swear to God. Swear to God, Wagner. Oh, shit. Say, stay where you are. I have a sword. I do have a sword. Bro. Come down. It's me, Wagner. What happened to you? The fly agaric infusion. It seems the legends only reported half the effects. I've written the greatest song in the world. But the deeper I looked into my soul, the more I turned into this. And when I finished the song, this is what I became. Miss Charm will never love me now. Oh, Wagner. I am so sorry. It's still worth it. Here's the song. Who's there? It's a monster. He's trying to kill this poor guy. No, no, no. No, we ju we're just talking over here. We're just talking. Let me go. I'm the son of the Lord Commander. Drag him down to the moon fort. Mountain fort. Mountain fort. Moon fort. Moon fort. Fort fort. Oh, peace out. Dude. Bro, you can't dress naked like that in public. But I have the song lyrics now. Do I need to save Wagner? I don't. This is excellent. Nice. All this for the song that I needed. Awesome. Well, I guess what I'll do, I will head back to Sweet Home. I'll sleep it off for the night. Put some of these things away too. And I'll talk to the astrologer in the morning, who I believe... I don't know if I'll be able to make progress with them yet. I might need to give Miss Charm the song lyrics first before I can get any farther with that. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh my goodness. And indeed, the um the night fit the knife fish 
that's where mislabeled as eels, which are actually electric eels, are closer to catfish than actual eels. Which is very, very interesting. The world is such an interesting place. The fact that, you know, that's that the stuff the fact that like I, I don't remember what the proper term is, but like parallel evolution or or maybe that's not the case, but it's like creatures that develop looking the same, however, they're actually not related to each other at all. Which is I think a very fascinating concept to me. Alright. Buddy, do you got any tips for me? Trade? No? Nothing? Alright, that's, that's fine. I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. What do I need? I need more blue points to be able to research the things that I want. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna buy books from you. I'll buy some books. Yeah. You have one? I'll take it. You have a great book? I'll take that too. Nice. I'll take those. Thank you. I am now getting blue points the cheap way. Or I guess the, the sellout way. Nice. And now I got all these blue points to be able to spend on things that I want to use to make my graveyard prettier, which will be, uh, that's from a church, that's from a church, uh, these are for there. I can create sculptures and whatnot. I'll go with the carved marble gravestones, or actually sculptures. I can use the marble for the sculptures, and I can use the, uh, I think I'm working other marble grave fence, marble cross two. Oh, they're level twos, I see. Well, they add five and six, and these add seven, so I'm gonna go with these guys. Nice. Convergent evolution. It may be convergent evolution. I don't know. I remember taking a class in, like, genealogy once upon a time, and I think we kind of went over those concepts, or maybe I learned about it in my bio class back in high school, but alas. Alas, alas, alas. Not important. Not important at all. All right, so I have... I've researched that now, so I guess what I can do is I will go back to... Uh, I mean, what I need to do is I need to talk to Miss Charm. I can't talk to the Miss Charm until Downward Facing Day, right? Downward Facing Day, I believe. Downward Facing Day? Yes. Get the greatest love song ever, which I did. So in the meantime, help Merchant attend a big ceremony in his new position. Uh, what did I need to do for that? I don't remember what I needed to do for the Merchant. I'm sure I'll figure that out. Maybe it has to do with the Bishop? I don't know. So I guess what I will do is until Downward Facing Day... I will work on the gravestones and whatnot to see if we can bring that all together. And what do I have in my inventory? I can I can clear out my inventory a bit. I don't I don't need all this stuff on me. So let's do that. And in the meantime, I guess I'll get stoned. And by stoned I mean marbled, and by marbled I mean rock. Also, have you written a book yet? Be cool if you did. Did you write a book yet? Okay, well, if you did write the book, take, craft, craft? Uh, where are the books at? Alright, so I know that you... Did you put the books somewhere? Where did you put the books? Buddy? Did you drop them on the floor? You didn't put them over there. What is this? Paper glop? I can make paper glop. That's interesting. Oh, it appears that OBS dis uh, disconnected itself. That's rather unfortunate. My internet gets a little crazy sometimes, and I apologize about that for those who are watching the live stream. However, I am recording this time around, so no worries there. I'm gonna do, 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 do a little message thing. Oh my goodness. No worries. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> is what I'm saying in chat right now. Hopefully. It's attempting to reconnect. We'll be back in a hot second. It's attempting to reconnect. Hopefully things will be okay. I am recording this stream this time, so even if there's any blips, we should be able to figure those out. Um, hopefully? Let's try this. I'm going to stop streaming and then start streaming again and try to see if we can reconnect. And it looks like we might be back. We might be back. It looks like we are back. Wonderful. I just had to restart and put that back in again. Um, luckily, for those who are popping in now, everything should be okay now. I hope it doesn't have any blips like that again. What I'm, I've am begun doing is I've begun recording the streams in the background as well. So the VOD that comes out after this will actually be okay. I know the quality drops every once in a while and things kind of cut out and whatnot. I apologize for that. It's something that I've been trying to work with with the internet service provider that I have. I'm rather disgruntled with them. And every single time that I tell them that I have an internet problem, they're like, oh, we'll come over and fix it. But by the time that they come over, it's fixed already because it's blips in internet connection. Um, but they've lulled me into a false sense of security saying like, oh, restarting things will make everything better. Which it really doesn't, because I kind of need the internet for what I'm doing here. Which I guess I could technically restart the router during streams now that I'm downloading things and recording them separately. But, like, everything will be down for, like, 12 minutes. And at that point, it becomes a separate broadcast. And it's just... It's just annoying. I'd rather keep things the way that they are here. 
one day, uh, actually, Anna and I are planning on moving at some point within the next uh, few months or so, and we'll be at a different location, and hopefully I can have a better control over my particular internet services, because, oh goodness, it's, it's such a bother. Also, I don't need this fish in my inventory anymore. Get out of here. Greatest song ever written. Just put the weed away. This will be okay. This will be okay. And I can see that I can see now that the the connection is kind of jumping up and down and whatnot. So so to the live viewers, my sincerest apologies on that. However, if it matters too much, and I'm sure it's probably just a little blip there, and nobody really cares about about me. But the vod will be complete, and it will be beautiful, and there will be no drops in quality and whatnot. We're all about trying to make premium quality content that looks good, sounds good, feels good, and it feels good to me. So. I'll, I'll take that as I'll take that as a win, despite the fact that things are being rather crazy right now. But you know, aside from that, let's worry about more important things. The more important things being making graves look fabulous. Excuse me, I was quite the outburst. But I need, I need these little fences. This is stone grave fence two. I can create marble statues now, and I don't think I actually have marble on me, do I? I know I have marble up at the quarry, so I might actually get some of that so that I can actually craft the um, the other uh, sculptures and whatnot, which is which is important. It'll make these graves look beautiful. Now, what level is the graveyard at right now? I don't think I covered up all the graves, or I think I have a good number of fences, but I need statues, right? Yeah, you. There we go. Let's put a put a gravestone fence on there. There we go. That's pretty good. We still need to be at double the level that we are now. So it's it's gonna take a hot minute to get there, and I don't have the best bodies in the I don't have the best bodies in town, but this is this will be good for now. We'll see what happens if I can get it up to maximum. And if I get it up to maximum and it's exactly where we need to be, perfect. If not, we'll work on it. We'll make it better. There are other improvements that we can bring to the graveyard as well that will bring things up as well, like uh, columbariums. I can make a uh, a marble columbarium that will give twenty. That's pretty awesome. Um, I can work on that too. And for that, I need. I need four pieces of polished brick of marble, a carved piece of marble, which I, which is silver. I don't know where to get that. And I need these silver urns, porcelain funeral urns. So I guess that's going to come out in a couple different ways. I'll go back to the home and see. I think I can make the urns here, right? Right? Oh, I can make... Oh! Fish fillets! I didn't know that. That's excellent. All right, I can make porcelain funeral urns by making porcelain pitchers. To create porcelain pitchers, I think I have to go down here probably to my pottery wheel. That makes sense to me. Okay. Uh, no. How about this? Porcelain? 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 No. How about... Where do I craft a... Um, let's just look at the technologies. Where do I get a porcelain head from? Carving marble, carving, carving marble, carving marble, carving, carving marble. Uh, Stonecutter 2. Alright. Stonecutter 2. Do I not have a stonecutter down here? Oh. I don't think I do. Is this a stonecutter 2? Oh, it is a stonecutter 2. Oh, there you are. Carved piece of marble. And I can make it be various different levels. Polished bricks of marble and some faith. But for that, I need a certain level of chisel. What level of chisel? The silver one, specifically. I haven't seen anything call for gold ones, so I'm not going to bother with it. But I will make a silver uh, silver star chisel. Down here, I think? Down here? No, it was here. There we go. Silver star chisel. I need those parts, lens, and dowels. Um, yay. And I actually, I don't know how to make a... I don't know how to make a gold chisel, apparently. That's, that's actually rather interesting. I didn't... I don't know how to make a gold chisel. Eh, maybe it doesn't matter. But I need lens. And to make a lens, I think I need to put it in here, right? Lens. Lens, 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 lens. Where do I make a lens at? Nope. Is it here? No. 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 Oh, God. Uh, where's the lens made? I know I discovered this once upon a time. Where are you? It's definitely under optics, right? Glass blower. All right, what do you do? Carpenter's workbench 2. Uh, Carpenter's workbench? Circular saw. Oh, that's down here, right? Carpenter's workbench 2. Lens. Lens me your ears! I need polishing paste and pieces of glass. I don't have glass up here. I need my faith. I should bring my faith upstairs. And polishing clay. Polishing clay, I'm pretty sure... Polishing powder. Polishing... Ugh. Polishing solution. I think can be made over here? No? I don't remember anymore. Alright, how do I make polishing... 
Oh, there we are. There we are. Uh, it's at a carpenter's work wrench. I... You were the only thing I ever needed. It was literally right below you. Well, okay. Uh, I need oil. I'm going to grab oil from downstairs, faith from downstairs, and if I have glass, I will grab that from downstairs, but I think I can just make it up here from dirt. I need more dirt. I may have dirt downstairs. I probably don't. So I will go go down to the nearest sand pile. And I will get dirt from down there. I'll probably grab a bunch of dirt. That's that's probably a good idea. I'll grab a bunch of dirt. Oh, also, it's Sunday. Don't forget to pray. Pray to whatever god you desire. It doesn't have to be... My oh, wait, this is the wrong place. I don't want clay. I want river sand. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for bothering you. Deep pile of clan. Clan? Okay, I cannot speak. Deep pile of clay. I'm sorry for bothering you. Consider this my most utmost and sincerest apologies, for I did not mean to disturb you. Also, I thought I had a thing of dirt around here. Was I wrong? I, I believe I may have been wrong. There are no piles around here. Oh, okay. I guess I gotta go to the... Oh, shit. Oh, literally right here. Nice. Also, let's get some fish while we're over here. River sand. River sand, buddy. Let's fish. Fish? Fish, fish. This is a fishing spot. Like others, you can find... Yes, I know that. Oh, is this the place that was supposed to teach me how to fish? Oh my goodness. Wow. That would have been helpful to know. In any case. Alright, let's get some fishies. Fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why I was losing energy, because I missed the fish. I see. I understand now. Now that makes sense. I got another gudgeon! Nice! I'll use my... Maggot again. Oh, there's a zero percent. So oh, it seems that the the percentage of the percentage of finding a fish changes over time. I guess I can only get so many fish from the sea. There's only so many fish in the sea. It seems. Ooh, a bream and a copper one. Well, yeah. There goes learning how to fish. I figured it out. I googled it today because. I wasn't about to suffer attempting to figure it out. Because I'm going to be perfectly honest. I would not... With enough trial and error, I'm sure I would have figured that out. However, I, I can't hold myself accountable for that type of stuff. I just... I don't have enough faith in myself. And I caught myself a perch. Are there any more fishies that I haven't gotten yet? Uh, Oh, I can use a gudgeon as bait. I can use fish as bait. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Nice. So I guess some fish are good to be used as bait for other fish, which actually makes a lot of sense. So actually, I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep the gudgeon on me. That's so cool. You know, this reminds me of when I figured out alchemy as well and figured out how that was supposed to work. That was a big moment too. That's another thing. I mean, despite how frustrating this game can sometimes be in terms of not telling you what you need to do, it actually is, like, extremely satisfying because you don't know... Like, when you do... For the ones that you do figure out eventually, it's like, oh my god, this is a whole new, like, system of crafting or a whole new system of research gathering that I had no idea about before. It's actually really exciting when I'm to think of that. But, you know, it, it, it can be... I think it is rather frustrating at times, and a little more guidance would be very appreciated. But to be perfectly honest, what they've got so far here, what they've got in general right now is a pretty awesome game that I'm thoroughly enjoying myself with. So honestly, if it comes out, if there's a tutorial patch that comes out at some point, a tutorial update for making things a little more clear, awesome. But if, but to be honest, it doesn't necessarily need it. In the world, in the world that we live in now, it's unnecessary for for that to be to to be a necessity. Unless you're a die, unless you're a diehard, I will never touch the wiki ever in my life. In which case, eh, I guess you're kind of hurting yourself there. Um, personally, I'd love to spend time on it, but like, I got it. I got I got ulterior motives here. I am trying to move a little bit quicker because I want I have other playthroughs that I want to do, and I'm like really antsy to start on them. I'm I guess I'll tease now, is that. I plan on playing a Nintendo game next, and it's another one that will probably take me a while, but it's near and dear to my heart, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm not going to spoil anything yet. It's a, it's, it's one of my, it's, I, I feel like I keep coming back to, oh, this is one of my favorite games from my childhood. This is another one of those, and it's, it's going to be good. I think it's going to be awesome. All right, let's study the Breams. 
gonna be great. And I also need faith down here, and I also need... Oh, what was it? I needed faith and... Oh, what was the other thing I needed? I don't remember. Can I eat these fish? I have to cut them first. Oh, I know I needed faith. Maybe maybe the other thing won't remind, remind me. Uh, give me the faith, and I needed oil. I need a little bit of oil. Ooh, and yes, a whole new world of crafting. A whole new world, a whole new tool available to me. No one to tell me how to use it yet, but I can craft it somewhere. But I need to find the blueprint first. <laughs> Because apparently, you can only craft some things at certain locations. Another thing that should have been clear to me, uh, more clear to me. Different recipes at the Alchemy Workbench 1 and the Alchemy Workbench 2. You would think that you could craft everything at the lower tier, at the, the new tier. That's not correct. That's not how that works, unfortunately. Where do I keep my oil? I don't remember where I keep my oil. Did I keep it down here? No. Did I keep it up here? No. I can always make more oil. I got plenty of fat. I can squeeze the oil out of it. Right? No, no oil over here. All right. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's Faith Day. It's Sunday. So I should make a prayer for Faith. Actually, can I make a better prayer for Faith? Let me see about that. I want to see if I can make a better prayer for, prayer for Faith. I need a better a gold chapter for that. So, how do? Let's make a nice chapter. Uh, that's a silver star. That's a silver star. Um, need more chapters. In order to get more chapters, I need better stories. So let's do that. Let's see if I can do that before dusk. All right, that's a nice chapter. Gotta love that. Uh, let's make another. St Actually, this should be enough. I think one gold, a silver, and a silver is only a twenty-three percent chance. Uh, I'm actually not gonna take the chance on that one. I'll, I'll come back with more. I'll come back with more later. I'll put the notes away and put this story away. I'll come. I'll come back eventually. We'll have. We'll have a, a nice one. We'll have a nice prayer eventually. I hope I put it in my inventory. Did I? I did. Nice. Prayer for faith. Prayer for faith. Prayer for faith. 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 Trust. And a whole lot of worshiping other gods. Or potentially not. Oh, also, I am totally gonna eat a coffee bean. Because I used it to garnish my drink. And I like the way coffee beans taste. Mm. Mm, that is an excellent bean. That's a dark bean. That's a powerful bean. I like that. Now I'm going to eat the other one as well. And also try to finish off my cinnamon bread. Snaps for the sermon. Thanks, dude. How's it going, dude? Thanks so much. Thanks for coming. All right. Now I need the glass. I have the polishing paste. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't grab the oil. I need the oil from downstairs. Oh, my God. Yo, boss. What's going on? Long time no see. Plebstash. How are you, my friend? How are you? Long time no see indeed. I hope you've been doing well. I've been doing pretty well. Honestly, looking back on this week thus far, this has been a very, this has been a very, very pleasant week. Uh, I feel like I have some stressful weeks sometimes, but that's not this week. It's It's been good. It's been good. I hope yours have been doing well as well so far. It's only Wednesday, so it could still get worse from here. But imagine, coffee bean, not, but jelly bean. Oh, I also love jelly beans. I, I'm not a big fan of, like, you know, bean boozled, where you get, like, the really disgusting, but also sometimes kind of good jelly beans. I have never been a fan of that game. I think it's disgusting. I don't need to potentially put things in my mouth that I think is going to make me puke. Unless there's some merit in that. Now, don't get me wrong. I would totally do that on stream. I would most definitely play Bean Boozled at some point. You know, idea. Bean Boozled Cocktail. A cocktail that uses, as infusion, as infusing, the Bean Boozled bad flavors. It'd be interesting to see. Actually, this is a very... Now that I think about this. Actually, I'm going to write this down. This is a really, really good idea, I think. We use the bean, the bad bean boozled beans, the bad bean boozled jelly beans, and make them into good cocktails if we can. Bad bean boozled cocktails. I've actually got a lot of, I've got a lot of really good ideas. I'm starting to think now, like special, special cocktail events that we can do, and I'm, I'm I've got a couple of ideas. One of them being that one that I just came up with. 
One of them being um, a, a, a stream where we all try to learn how to make garnishes because my garnish game is not very strong and I feel like there's tons of references out there and I really I really need to really sit down and like hone in on those. And oh, there was another one too that I had an idea of, um, but I don't remember what it was. So I'll write that down when it comes back to me because it was a good idea and I'm sure it will come back to me. Oh, I dropped my pen. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, I can put this... I have oil now. I don't need all the oil, though. I only need one. Uh, incoming sneeze, I think. Just kidding. I lied. We're okay. Crisis averted. Let's make some cut fish. I can make cut fish. Quality fish fillet. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Look at that. Quality fish fillet from quality fish. That actually makes a lot of sense. Well, now that I know I can make fish now. And I bet... What can I use the fish for? Do I have to make it into cooked fish first? I would imagine so. No. Okay, what about over here? I can use fish in... Oh, fish. Fish. Ah, fish, fish, fish. Nice. And I can use quality for baked salmon. Yo, seriously? Oh, what is that? Blue fish filet. Interesting. Royal fish. It's so royal, it's blue. Royal blue. I love that. And so Cam creates the sushi. Let's make baked salmon. And I want two of them if possible. Can I make two at once? No, it seems not. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to wait on that. That's okay. I'll put the other fish fillets away. Yeah, just put that in there. Uh, I'll keep the gudgeon. Uh, I don't know what to do with the perch. Oh, I'll, I'll put it into... I'll make it into... Make it into this. Ego. I put the, put, the, put the guy in there. Oh my god, that was a lot of fish fillets. Wow. Nice. I'll put that in there. I don't need this much water in here, so I'll take... I'll take all of it. I don't... I, if I need water, I can just get more water. Let's... No, don't destroy the little bit of gem. Water, water, water. And also, I just noticed it's downward facing day, so I need to remember to talk to Miss Charm today, or else that would probably not be so so helpful. Got my polishing paste. I can make some lenses. With the lenses, I will be able to create a proper chisel. Uh, chisel, chisel, chisel. Silver chisel. Oh, I also need a dowel, so I to go chop down a tree. All right, I got a dowel in here. I got a single dowel. One dowel to rule them all, or at least some, I suppose. Can I get dowels from this tree? Tiny tree? Tiny, tiny tree? Tiny tree? Uh, stick? Stick? No? It's a stick from this tree? Stick from tree. Stick from tree. Give to me. Yes? Yes, wooden stick! Thank you. I have all this wood up here. I know I was complaining about wood before, but mm, I'm gonna keep doing that. I'll keep complaining about wood, despite the fact that there's plenty of wood around me. Giggity. With those dowels, I will be able to create the chisel of my dreams. And apparently, my chisel in my dreams is only Silver Star. It could get better, but it won't. Maybe I am ha being haunted by my dreams. Mmm. Alright. Now that I got that, let's make a Silver Star uh, head. Oh, but I need marble first. Alright, well I have the chisel though. That's a step in the right direction. I just need marble. So I'll go talk to Miss Charm about the song. And then I'll go up to the quarry and do that stuff. Hey, buddy. Okay. Hey, girl. Hello, darling. How can I help you? I have the perfect song. I have some questions. No, just kidding. I have the perfect song. Here's your song. It was written especially for you. Let me see. Hmm. Croissants. Oh, how sweet. It gives me little butterflies in my stomach. Who wrote this? His love is so pure. It's a real declaration of love. He understood me. It was written by a poet who used to write here at the tavern. He's in love with you. He is. Oh, I remember him. He was so shy. Where is he now? Well, I don't know how to explain. He was captured by the guards. He's at the mountain fort. And in his present state, I don't think he'll be alive for much longer. Hold me. I'm going to faint. We need to save him. Oh, we have to save him? Oh, Lord. Promise me that you'll help. Hmm, this looks like the perfect opportunity for Astrologer to show how much he cares. I'll try to help. You just stay here for a while. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Also, I don't know what perfume is used for. Okay, so now, on Moon Day, I can talk to the Astrologer and tell him all about his daughter. And how I know her. But not know her well. Vodra's gonna know her well, potentially. I should sleep. I need more energy. Oh, and I also need to finish the rest of this bread.
Bread. What? I'm just gonna put Jericho in the kitchen. Thank you, dear. I am very refresh you. Alright. I've got marble. Or I have marble that I can work on. So, let's do it. Let's make some marble. I think previously I didn't have the proper skills to create marble. I don't think I had the right tools or something like that. Also, this is bothersome. The fact that I can't move these things down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move. Move. Move, I say. Move. Down. Down we go. Down. Down, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. All right. Yeah, let's do it again. Kind of like this. Yeah. Put it there. Nope. Go, get, 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 there we go. Uh, how about now, uh, now, 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 put it over there. Okay, thank you, thank you. And then more rocks. Rocks, 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 right, right, right there. No, put it on the, okay. That's, that's fine then. Let's make some polished block of marble. For that, I need pieces of marble. For that, I need these things. Let's break it to pieces. Break them all to pieces. A piece of marble. A piece of marble. I got a piece of marble this big with your name on it. It's got your name. What's your name? Matthew? Matthew. I got your name on it. Here you go. Take this. That's yours. That's your piece of marble with your name on it. I'm completely out of energy. Let's drink beer. There we go. Solves all my woes. <sniffs> Needs to drink more beer. Alright, now that I have that, I can make polished marble brick. Polished brick of marble, which is good. Um, that is very good. So let's make a bunch of that. Also, I should be able to, if I craft, I should be able to make... No, stop. Oh, man. Polished brick of marble. I gotta get my thing. Gotta get my chisel. Go back to the craft. Go here. Just as many as we can make. As many as I can possibly make. I don't think I have a use for regular marble. I think all the proper marble is good. Oh, not enough resources. What do you mean, not enough resources? Give me my... Oh, I see. Uh, I don't need nor want wheat. So, I'll I'll get rid of that. That's That's unnecessary now. Not enough resource. What do you mean? Oh, where'd my chisel go? Well, that's annoying. I need to create another chisel. Shucks. All right. Well, back to sweet home. I see my fish fillets, which that's that's good. That's good. Fish fillets are good. Uh, chisel. I need more dowels. Or how about I just take any of my other chisels and why would I do that? Oh, I see. I can take my... I can take chisels of lower levels and try to create them into chisels of higher levels. Not that I really know why a gold star chisel would help me. I don't exactly know what the utility of that is yet. Aside from, I guess, making even cooler marble heads. But I don't know if that's necessary either. Alright, let's chop down the other trees. Tiny trees. Tiny trees for tiny jar- uh, yeah, good words. Tiny trees for tiny dowels for tiny sticks for tiny me. Thank you, stick. And for a tiny chisel, which I will use to carve out little tiny blocks for marble. Thank you kindly for making the chisel. And now let's get back to it. Back to Quare. Back to this evening's Quare Soiree. And let's let's drink some beer make ourselves feel better honestly it is shocking in this game maybe it was just like not a part of the development or something or they purposely left it out but you don't get drunk you can drink alcoholic substances but you do not get drunk it's a perfect world this is truly the perfect world naturally anna's watching me hello dearest what's up she's eating candy she's eating m&ms she is engulfed she's engorged an entire bag of m&ms one of the small kinds not the big ones she's not that crazy Although she is a little crazy sometimes. I love you, dearest. Oh, vacuum time. Alright, I don't know how much... I got plenty of marble left. I got, I got tons of marble. I'll keep at least one of them so I can research it. Um, and see what it can be made into. So I guess I have seven more left to make. One. It's interesting that they all give... They give all different types of points. That's very impressive. Now that I'm at this point in the game where, like, I literally don't- I, I don't feel like I need the points anymore, and my chisel is dead, so... Actually, I'm just gonna take this and go back. Back to the sweet home. Uh, grab the- 
grab the food. Salmon. Salmonella. A salmonella. Did I get Silver Star? I did get Silver Star. That's a very low chance. Awesome. That gives me a lot of energy, too. Nice. What did I come down here for? Oh, I came to research. That's what I was doing. I'm researching these. The marble to get me red points. Which I don't think I actually need. But. Alright. Research you. Oh, I can also research the lens. I didn't know that. That'll be helpful. Cannot be decomposed. That's fine. I've got polished brick of marble. Probably can't be decomposed either. I would guess. Nope. But what about a lens? Oh, it gives me stuff. No, I don't want to do that. That's that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I want that item, but I'm not going to get it. Put you away. Put the story away. Must be a copper one, probably. Yeah. Copper star. Copper star story. It's... The story's kind of meh. It's okay. I've seen worse stories. I've, I've heard worse stories. I'll put the lenses down here. Actually, lenses are, lenses are crafting materials, so I don't actually need that. Let's teleport myself back to the quarry. I'll try to make the rest of this. Not enough... Oh, right. Because I needed the chisel. You're right. You're right. I have a silver star chisel up here. What's up with that? Well, I guess I'll keep that there. I, I, don't, I don't need it, I guess. Well... I will wait till my teleport stone comes up again. That's probably good. Also, I just noticed you can hear birds in the forest. I never noticed that. I had never noticed that before. You can hear birds in the forest. I love that. That's great. Would a copper story be a penny dreadful? The answer may shock you, and the answer is yes. I would hopefully I would I would definitely agree with that. All right, let's go back to sweet home, collect this beautiful big salmon. Oh, it's merchant day. Actually, let me let me craft this head. Then I'm gonna talk to the merchant because I want to know exactly what I need to do to get him to the point where he needs to be at. Let's craft a head. I only needed one of them, right? Nice carved piece of marble. Love that. And I needed that for. The Stone Columbarium, I believe. I think that's what I was going for there. Potentially. Let's get all this peat. Put some more crop waste in there. Put some of that stuff away. I want the rest of that. Please give that to me. Thank you. Follow me. Follow me. Have the peat. Follow me. And let's put you over here. I'll keep the maggots because I can use that for fishing. Let's go talk to my buddy the merchant and see what I can do to make his life easier, I suppose. We'll make it more fruitful than it currently is. Hello, buddy. What do I need to do for you again? To help merchant attend a big ceremony in his new position. Alright. Instructions unclear. Dick caught in ceiling fan. Alrighty then. Oh my god, look at all the, all the wine that he's got to sell. <laughs> Is this all the wine that I <laughs> that I sold to him that he couldn't sell to other people? That's crazy. I love that. Alright, so I have the teleport back to here. I need more... I think I need more polished stones of marble. That may have been all I needed. For the, um... Oh, no, no, I need the porcelain... I need the porcelain urns. And in order to make those, I think I need to be at a stone cutter as well? Maybe? Carved marble... No, no, uh, no. How do I make... Is this over here? No. Maybe. Maybe about... Where did I craft that thing? Well, I can't exactly remember what it is, so that's alright. That is A-OK -okay with me. I will double check... Where it can be crafted. Uh, over here. So where can I craft these? It's at the... Furnace. Duh. I, I crafted at the furnace. That makes sense. And what, what else did I need? I need the proper urns for a marble columbarium. I have all the polished marble. I need two of those creepy-ass heads, and I need 12 of those porcelain things, to which I'll probably need a bunch of ash. So I'm gonna go... I think I, think I keep the ash in the mausoleum or whatever you call this place what is this place called again 
The morgue. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The morgue. Morgue. Yeah, I keep ash in there, but I think I need more ash, and that should still be sitting down here, I think. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, I have no space in my inventory. Um, mm. well, I don't need that number of carrots. Oh, good. I only picked up the ash. That's really all I wanted. I just wanted the ash. <laughs> all I need is ash, 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 ditties, 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 ditties. Although I said we were done with ditties. No more little ditties. They've come back for just this occasion. And it's a special occasion indeed. Let's go back here. I'll go to the furnace, see what it takes to make a porcelain pitcher. I need a regular pitcher, regular jug, and white powder. So let's make a few of those and then bring four pieces of white powder upstairs. Excellent. I think I have white powder down here. I believe we get white powder for bones if I need more. Not too difficult. Not too difficult to do. Not a very involved process. But then I need to fill them all up with ash. Which is how we'll get to the next step. And I may have some ash down here too. Maybe. Oh, I actually had some of these ceramic jugs. Oh well, that's fine. We'll have more jugs. More jugs, more problems, supposedly. Um. Oh, I totally blanked again on what I was doing down here. Oh my goodness. What was that? Oh, I need white powder. That's what I needed. Thank you for jogging my memory there, dear. Teamwork, teamwork. Everybody everywhere. Oh, clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Oh, dear. Where's the white powder at? There we go. I need four of those. Let's put... I don't know. Let's just put the... I haven't been able to use the gem with... The... Let's put the prayer over here. If I really need it, I'll come back for it. I need a four of those, I'm pretty sure. Back to Sweet Home. I think this is already done. Just kidding. It's not quite done yet. I guess I'll go cut more stone. I'll cut more marble. I'll go back up to the quarry and cut more marble. However, I'll sleep first. That might actually be just the amount of time that I need for those things to finish. And then I can put the white, uh, the, the porcelain stuff in there and make those pretty white-colored urns. Hopefully that'll be good. I'm sure it'll be great. I am so refreshed. I'm feeling so alive. Oh, that was only enough for a little bit of them. It's okay. You're almost finished, so... I can wait for that to finish. That'll, that'll finish in, like, the hottest of seconds. I've finished off my cocktail. Actually, there's still quite a bit of ice in it, so I'm not going to finish it off just yet. It calls to use a straw, but I don't have any tiny straws. Otherwise, that probably would have been useful to me. Um... All right, well, let's let's make another carved piece of marble as well, because I need another one of those. So let's do that real quick. That will have two. I can put them into a container over here so I can pick up the porcelain thing. Nope, okay. Then let's... Uh, all right, fine. I uh, have so much stuff in here. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go inside and put some things in here. I'm going to put... I don't need all this fish on me. I, I don't need this much food. I also don't need the burgers. I will work with the beer for now. And there, I've cleared up my inventory. All's well that ends well. Ceramic jugs, porcelain pitchers. Oh, okay. Oh, I need much more of this. I need 12. I need 12 porcelain pitchers, so I need 24 pieces of white powder. So I need to go back down and get that. I misinterpreted that. Actually, it's Snake. It's Green Day now. I'm curious to see what happens if I talk to Snake again. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder if he has any new dialogue. The Inquisitor doesn't give a shit anymore. Snake probably doesn't either. I need 24 pieces of white powder. So I'll take all that I have over here and then make some more with the bones, which should probably be down here on the shelf. Also, Jerry, do you have anything else to say after that whole debacle with Snake? No. Gotcha. Bones, bones, bones. Bones, 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 bones. Bones, 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 bones. Bones, 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 bones. Bones, 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 bones. No eel this time. Just bone. And I should get three pieces from each of them? I should. That'll probably be enough. I'll just make all... I'll do all the white powder. Night, dearest! We'll see how far I can get with that. Alrighty, then. Let's see how that goes. Awesome. I have 29. Epic. That's exactly what I need. I wonder how long those porcelain things will take, though. We shall see. 
Back over here, back over there, get some things, post them in the picture. There we go. And that'll take a minute 30 each, uh, 12 times. So yeah, that'll take a hot minute. So we'll work on that. Um, in the meantime, I can go craft. Let me put the let me put the the heads in a chest over near the cream uh, near the church. But what I also want to do is I want to make these um these fences because I have the proper bricks for them. I think, right? Marble marble gray fence. Yeah, that's the one. Not marble gray fence too. I could also make marble crosses too. That would probably be good. And the marble sculptures, which require complex iron parts and those heads. I understand now why that would be why those would be good now. Because you put the heads on top of the statues. That makes total sense. I want to see if I can make a ton of those. As many as I possibly can on the best graves. Um, actually, so that that's what I'll do. And you need at least a silver for them. So I'll make. I'll just make a bunch more of those heads. Gravestone too. I love them. R.I.P. Rest in peace, my guy. Rest in pieces. Reese's pieces. It does take a hell of a lot of faith, though. I will give it that much. So I guess faith becomes more important. I really should focus on getting a, a prayer for faith that's a lot better than I am now. Better than it is now. You need to halt any other crafts to begin with this one. You need to halt... Okay. Now we're, we're good, we're good. I, I'll con complete this craft, no problem. Carved piece of marble. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of math here. I need five faith for the marble sculptures, and I want to use one for each. So if I make another sculpt, each of them costs five. So if I do another one, I'll have four, and I'll have 22 left. And I'll do one, so I'll make two more heads, and I should be able to get three sculptures out of that. If I, if I did that math correctly in my head. Alrighty then. That's one there, and let's do this one here. I don't think I've gotten any copper ones so far. Oh, I need to get a little drunk again. There we go. And I have all the heads that I could possibly ask for. And I need complex iron parts. I forgot about that. So I need to make some of those. So let's do that. Complex iron parts can be made with simple iron parts. Simple iron parts can be made with iron. I actually have no iron. That's really unfortunate, actually, because I only have one furnace. I should build another furnace. Let, let's build another furnace. Furnace 2? I, I don't need furnace 2. Can I build another furnace 3? Furnace 3? No, I think it's just furnace 2. Is there a furnace 3? Oh, there is. Complex iron parts. That I don't have. And paper. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I'll just make another furnace. Four flitches and a thing there. Yeah, let's just make another. Let's just make another furnace. That way, I can have these things going in tandem. That that would probably be a good idea. Need that. I need a couple more iron parts. Simple iron parts. There we go. Let's build another furnace so I can have more things going at the same time. It's just a simple one, but it's a one one. I'll put these things in here if I can, if I have enough space for all of it. Uh, do I? Put the parts in there? I do, I do, I do, I do. Excellent. And then I need iron ore, which I don't have. So I gotta get some more iron ore. So I guess I'll go up to the quarry and get some more iron ore. I'll bring it back down. Back to the quarry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I can do any of that, I need a chisel. I need another chisel. So I need to cut down some more trees. Porcelain pitcher. Nice. Two of them so far. That'll take that'll take a little bit of time. We're getting on the two and a half hour mark now. It's about 1030. I think we're doing all right so far. We made some progress. I at least I at least want to talk to the astrologer. So I'm still making my way to Moon Day. I definitely gotta do that. So that'll be on the list of things to do. And then perhaps we'll save Miss Charm. Or save Wagner and get Miss Charm's item. And I suppose also the astrologer's item, if I had to guess. Uh, which will bring us one step closer to endgame. And then, well, if I had to do my predictions right, I would think that if that's the case this time, and we do get those cr crucial other items, then next time, the next the next stream, two weeks from now, will probably be the last Graveyard Keeper stream for a while until I decide to come back and do the DLC and whatnot. Because I know they're, they're planning on doing more DLC, I'm pretty sure. So when that comes out, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Apparently, I do have some iron ore. Oh, but I need to... I need... 
firewood to bring the fire. And I think I have firewood inside, so. Hopefully, I believe, I do. I have firewood in here. Let's take 50 firewood, because that's all I can carry. And I'm going to think of it, how much powder do I need to fill up these porcelain urns? Five. So I have enough for ten of these right now. So I need to burn a couple more bodies so far. And what I'll do is I'll keep the ash in here. I'll keep the pitchers in there. I will come back for those. Now that I have my dowel, I can create another chisel. Chisels are good. They'll help us mine shit, which is a good thing. Bring myself up to the quarry. And at the quarry, I will complete polishing off all this marble and then any extra stuff that I any extra ability I have left in this chisel I will use for iron ore also I need a drink again it's that time of the evening that time of the evening where I decide it's better to be drunk or actually I'm not drunk because I forgot my character is not allowed to be drunk they were not given that ability they are not favored by God they will be struck down with lightning if they try to go into the town by whatever God rules this world they are not a fan not a fan of this process. So why would they even why would they let me get drunk? They've taken that away. God has taken that away from us all. Alright, so now I need some iron. So we'll just iron this thing over mine this thing over here. It's interesting that I don't need wedges for this. Which kind of confuses me. It's a little I don't know. Also, come to think of it, there is a little house over here. Oh, that's probably for the zombie. Oh, it's definitely for the zombie. It is- th that- that shack there is most definitely for the zombies. Um, I thought perhaps it might have been a way for me to, like, go back to Sweet Home really quickly, but I don't think we have that level of travel ability. <laughs> Alright, let's get some iron out of this. Iron, 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 iron. Iron ore, yay! Yay, iron ore! Happy, happy iron. Is not being able to get drunk God's blessing or curse if his angels would have similar rules? I wonder. Well, I guess technically, if this is like a second life for our graveyard keeper, then like, maybe, maybe he is an angel. A servant of God to bring back goodness to the world. Or, or something like that. Can't get hung over if alcohol is not a poison to you. This is true. Oh, you know. That's true. You know. Alcohol could... In this world... Alcohol's, alcohol might metabolize different because to be perfectly honest, I have not there's a lot of alcohol in this world However, I haven't directly observed anybody getting drunk At all not even the people I've observed people getting high dig is definitely high perpetually literally all the time and when Wagner ate that Mushroom stuff. He definitely got high off his ass and also began to transform and potentially die. I don't know what's happening to Wagner right now, but apparently we're going to save him. Uh, maybe he'll be alive, or maybe he'll die. I don't know. It's, it's possible. Oh, silver nuggets. Oh, nice. I didn't know I could get silver nuggets from that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's fuel you up and make a bunch of iron. Apparently, I can make two iron at once in one recipe. Excellent, uh, but I need more fire for it. But did I really need... Wow, I needed more fire. Has Jerry been drunk and does he count? Oh, he did. Yeah, he was drunk. You're right. He like... I don't know. He was like hiccuping and stuff from like... From like the beer, if I recall. Although, to be honest, he's a skull. I don't know how that happens to him, to be perfectly honest. I don't think he can taste things anymore. It goes literally right through the bottom of his skull. Or I guess... If Jerry is a skull, could we say that he has a skull? I... That's unclear to me. Such questions are beyond me. Alright, let's make some more firewood so I can make more iron, so we can make more happy, so we can be more chill. It's a musical I haven't watched. I've been like I've been looking through Spotify recently, and I've they're getting they're recommending me like a bunch of like musical songs and whatnot. Probably because I listened to the Hamilton soundtrack a little while ago. It's it's worth it. I like I like it. It's a very good very good show. Very much approve of that. Uh, but I see a bunch of other shows on there like Dear Evan Hansen, I believe is the name of one. Be more chill. Be more chill caught my interest because my um the theater department at the college I went to actually performed that one time and. I wanted to go see it, but I, I don't, I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to get around to it, unfortunately, but I wanted to go see it. It's about, Be More Chill is about a chip that they can put inside your brain that makes you a cooler person. 
or that will direct you it will tell you how to be a cooler person and i think that chip is called the super quantum universal in intel processor or something like that i don't know but they call it the squip and i think the concept of the squip is very funny and the squip itself is actually a, a character in the show and they have this was really awesome like circuit robe that they wear as a part of their costume and it's very very cool it's very cool to look at i'm very impressed by it i didn't decide to listen to the the, the soundtrack though although it's like it's like those things are like when you see it enough you're like okay maybe i should maybe i shouldn't now and i'm kind of i'm kind of getting to that it was very cool looking venom venom i don't know if it's venom i will say i will say like the robe itself like the way that the robe looks has like a kind of like a symbiote thing to it squip squippy venom i'm not sure i never actually watched did venom and carnage come out I think it did. I wanted to watch that movie, and I never did. Come to think of Venom, now that I think about it. But I never did. I wanted to, though. Hm. Maybe one day. It'll be on my list of things to watch eventually. Okay. Stone. Stone. That's what we're doing. Stone. I needed the stone of the Marvel... Sc oh, I needed complex iron parts. That was it. I needed the iron for complex iron parts, but it's not done making iron yet, so it doesn't actually help me. Ooh... Ooh, uh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, I guess I need to wait for the iron. And I need to wait for these things. So I guess in the meantime, I can make more... I can make more... I can make marble fences. Yeah. Oh, marble grave fences require specifically that type of stone. Which I don't have anymore because I just used it all up. That's, that's great. It adds four to a grave... These gravestones add three... These fences add three to a grave. Guess I need more marble. Or, or you know... How many points do I have? I have 58 points. I'm close. Close-ish to being able to do the top... Carved, carved marble gravestones. I'm thinking about that. Thinking about saving up for that. Or maybe waiting to use my marble till then. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm considering it. Lure Life follows now. But yes, Venom and Carnage is out. It is. The, the hearing a voice that tries to guide your course of action based on their perception of things makes you want to compare to the symbiote. That's that's true. I, I forgot about that. As soon as, as soon as you started talking about the whole talking to the person inside of the bottom, I was like, oh, I get the connection now. Yeah. Eddie. Eddie Brock. I can't, I can't do a Venom voice. Eddie. Or I guess. Eddie Brock. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm not very good at that. I saw a TikTok a while ago of somebody trying to teach the world how to do the the Venom voice. It's close. It's close. I wouldn't say I've learned how to do that particular voice yet. I need more stones. I need more stones to put on here, guys. I have some gravestones. Do I have any wooden stones? I, I don't have any wooden stones left. Oh, that, that wooden cross doesn't need to be there. Uh, this wooden cross could be improved, so I'll take that off and gain a point. That's cool. I can dig that. So I'll put you here, I'll bring you here, and then I will bring you down here and put you on top. That should give me what I need, right? Oh, actually, it gives two, the other one gave two, there was literally no benefit that I... Right, because they give two, you give two, y'all give two, now it's just a stone. And the stone helps, I guess. I guess what I'll do is I will go back to Sweet Home. I will sleep for the day. I will talk to the astrologer and see where we will go next. Maybe we'll strike at midnight or something like that. To be able to save Wagner. We'll use the power of science to be able to bring this world together. Family. Foe. Friends. Everybody together now. Everybody come together right now. Over me. Do, 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 do. Put my silver bits in here. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna trash these ceramic jugs. I don't. I don't need them. I'll put the lenses in here though, because those are important. You're almost done doing your thing. Actually, I might as well go in here and start making some of those um. Those things, because I have just enough ash for nine of them, so I can do that. I'll do nine for now. Try to make as many of those as possible. Getting close. Oh, and that gives me blue points. That's inc that's awesome. That's exactly what I was needing. And it gives me two at a time. Even better. 
Nice. Now if I buy books from the astrologer, it might actually give me enough blue points. Oh, also I can research this thing. So actually, before I even do that, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to research this thing to get more blue points to potentially get enough points to buy the super fancy grave fences and then make my graveyard look like mwah, like that. Very pretty. Also, buddy, I need you to tell me where these books are going. Actually, are you going to finish a book while I stand here? No, you're taking you're taking a long time. Oh, I can uh, I can research both of these. That's a lot of faith. Oh my god. That one requires less faith, so I go that one first. Oh, also, string quality seems to be dropping again. Oh, funny, funny. Very, very funny. Apologies about that. It should come back in a moment. Technical difficulties only for a little bit of time. Eh, supposedly. I don't know. Oh, Comcast, you've done it to me again. Oh, well. I can only talk about Comcast and its annoyances so much in my life. That was a lot. Oh, my God. That was a lot of red points. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Let's try this. Let's try this button. Let's do the stops and then put the put the streamy back again. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, OBS would be really cool if you didn't crash. There we go. Start streaming again. There we go. We're back. We should be. I hope so. Maybe? Potentially? I don't know. I hope we are. Oh, offline. What are you talking about? I'm totally not offline. Oh my goodness. I know my stream turned off. I don't know why. I'm still recording though. Hi everybody. This is offline Cameron trying to figure shit out. Let's stop streaming and try again. That was interesting. Oof. Be back soon. We'll try to. I don't know why it's not working. Like I have internet connectivity. So I guess we'll try this again. Maybe. Are we back? Potentially. This is Cameron's figuring out stream time, or at least he's trying to. The bitrate is low. We are figuring things out. In any case, there's actually not much game going on, so I think I'll mark this part of the stream toward the end. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll stop recording this, and then I'll restart OBS and come back in. I didn't realize the stream was going to stop like that. Could not access the specified channel. Let's try it again. Maybe. Did something happen? It says it's unstable. It says, am I live again? I don't know. This is really unfortunate. Okay, dokie. Well, oh, it looks like, it looks like we've returned. It appears that we are. Sorry, everybody, for those double pings, apparently, that everybody's going to be getting because of that. But it seems that we are back. Not to worry, though. If you'd like, I, <laughs> I love, I'm actually really happy. I actually, I caught that the stream was going to get unstable a little earlier. So I'm actually rather happy that I started recording this one because now... All the moments and whatnot. We get to see what happens from my side. I apologize about that, everybody. But there's only so much that we can do, unfortunately. On the bright side, it definitely happens less frequently nowadays than it did previously. So actually, it's not it's not all that bad. Not all that bad at all, to be perfectly honest. If I had to if I had to put a put a note on that. But so, what I just did was I was able to research the head, research the thing. I got a bit of blue points. Uh, not a lot of blue points. Uh, I've got almost enough blue points. I'm going to make my way over to the lighthouse to talk to the astrologer to buy a book from him. So buy a book from him. Buy a couple books from him. Want those blue points. Give me those blue points. Oh, I can only afford one. So that'll be the one that I buy. And let's use that. Let's go to technology. Let's go over here and buy the best gravestones anybody could possibly ask for. Nice. I like that. All right. And then we'll talk to you about your daughter or something <laughs> task completed hey yo i think i found a way you can earn your daughter's forgiveness let's see what can i do i'm ready to do anything within my power and beyond there's one young man well right now he's not exactly a man long story short he's in danger he's been imprisoned at the mountain fort your daughter wants to save him why well, she said that she loves him, so if we, if you help her release him, it would be a good first step. Hmm, interesting. The fort is closed. It's strictly guarded. I've been there once at an archaeological expedition. It didn't end well. We accidentally blew up the northern pass. It wasn't our fault. The great blast interfered with our calculations. The Lord Commander threatened to kill me. We barely made it out alive. But many years have passed. I think we could arrange a new expedition by order of the university. And then we might covertly release this young man. About the expedition. 
How are we going to arrange it? You don't even work there anymore. Mm, our members of the inner circle, lovers' quarrels are easy to mend. I just need to show them that I've made progress in my studies. And I'm in again! Have you made any progress? No, pretend, perchance. Not really. I feel so empty inside, and now I can't think of anything besides my daughter. You need to help me. You're a smart young man. Do you know how to write? Yes. Write a book. Shouldn't be too bad, but write whatever you want. Just any book? With my esteemed name on a cover, it should do well. Here's a book. Any book? Can I buy a book from you? Ah, ha, 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 I cannot buy a book. You do not sell books right now. All right, I'm going to go home and do uh, do the book. Oh, but I think I need a cover for the book. I might actually need that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, that might be... We'll see. Hopefully, I can do the book within the day. We'll see about that. Book? Book? Book. Book. I need a soft cover. I literally need any book. But I need a hard cover. Uh, and I need to buy a hard cover or soft cover. Unless, can I make those? I don't think I can make hard covers or soft covers. So I'm going to teleport back to the lighthouse. So I can buy a cover from you. Um, hard cover. Oh my god, it's a lot of money. No! Oh, that's not good. Oh, soft cover. Soft cover's fine. That's fine. I will buy that from you. Thank you, sir. Um, and now I need to make my way back home. I will wait for a hot second to wait while that goes up. Oh, man. And then I need a proper story. I hope I don't run out of time. Oh, this should be fine. Okay, I'll just I'll run my way back in order to attempt to catch up on time. All right, back to the sweet home. I'll go back here. I'll try to craft a book. Books are good. Books are great. Books are wonderful. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah. That's what we're doing. We're writing, a, we're writing a story. Writing a little book. Really long. And so I need a chapter. In order to create a chapter, I need one of these. Let's make a chapter. Let's make a chapter. Let's make a book. Let's give it to the guy. It'll be perfect. And then let's make a book. Excellent. It's going to be a shitty book, but it's a book nonetheless. There we go. Got all those blue points. Bring it on back. I'm very close. There we go. Back to the lighthouse. Any book will do. Here's the book. Wait, that's not the book I need. Oh, shoot. It needs to be a Silver Star book. Shucks. All right. All right. It needs to be a Silver Star book. That's unfortunate. All right. I definitely am not going to be able to do that in a day. I don't think. Let me check and see. If this isn't something that I can do, mm, it probably isn't. I don't think I'll be able to, unfortunately. Yeah, all right, all right. Let me see exactly what I need. I can make the funeral urn. I can make the mausoleum, I think. This is, this is what I'll do. I'll try to see if I can do the book. If I can do the book, cool. I'll just make that just so I have it ready for next time. Uh, I'll also make the, uh, the mausoleum, the, the, um, the new columbarium or whatever it is um the, the the marble columbarium also i have no space for iron ingots that's unfortunate what don't i need in my inventory i have a s severe lack of faith let's make a bunch of these funeral urns oh right i need to burn more bodies i forgot about that too i can burn more bodies that's easy to do put those in there i'll get i don't know why i have so much stone down here if i need more stone i'll go get more stone so let's destroy the stone. Yeah, we, we don't need that. We don't need that. And it looks like it has to be a hardcover book, too. I just noticed that as well. So I need to buy that from our guy. And for that, I need to sell things. And that's that's a bit of um, That's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a stretch. So I think the astrologer stuff will have to wait till next week. We'll figure it out then. Um, put this over here. Put the iron in there. Do, 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 do. Going over to... Let's see about the book. I guess what I do want to know is what materials I need for a, a good chance at a Silver Star book. Whether it's the hardcover, probably, and what level store chapter I need to make it a really good one. What the percentage is. So if I look at book, in order to create a really good a Silver Star book with relative... Oh, actually, I can do that at a church bench? Oh, actually, let me see. Let me see about making a cover. That's not a church bench. Where did church bench at? Oh, church bench is over here in the corner. I see. Church bench. Uh, hardcover. I need gold jewelry details. 
or steel parts and a regular hard cover, which I need a soft cover for, which I can make over here. I can make a soft cover here. Okay, let's make a soft cover. There we go, we'll do that. I need steel, it seems, for the other one. Really? I need steel parts? Oh, hard cover, I need a tanning agent, which I think I can create if I don't already have that. I don't believe I have tanning agent, but I think I can craft it, right? Tanning agent, tanning agent. Energy elixir. Oh, no, I'd never, I have not figured out how to make a tanning agent. Interesting. So I have to buy that from a witch. Interesting. Well, I'll keep that on hand. I need more bodies. Or I need more things to burn. More bodies to burn. More ashes. So I'll take these remaining bodies here. If they're good ones. Oh, they're totally rancid. Yeah, no, it's, it's not necessary. I'm gonna put you... You're gonna go... And y'all have been sitting there for so long. I am so sorry. But do you have any good stuff on you? No. Oh, it's it's all... Yeah, no, you're... You're done, so. I'll take all these guys down. Take all these guys down, put them on the fire, get some ashes, and then I'll make the... Yeah, I guess what I'll do is I will make the marble columbarium, and then I will call it an evening. And then we'll pick up on things next week, where I will focus on some money, focus on some other stuff that I'm thinking of right now that I'm trying to figure out. I need, let's see, I need money to be able to buy, I don't, I don't need the money for the soft covers. I don't need that. That's not something that I require. Um, hmm. Think about it. I need a book. I need to craft a book for the astrologer. I gotta do that. I need to, basically I need the book for the astrologer and I need to upgrade the graveyard for the bishop. So it's gonna be stone, 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 book, 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 stone, book, stone, book, stone. That's how it's gonna be. I believe in that. Cool. Sound good to you? Sound good to me. That's what we'll do next time. But first, Marble Columbarium to bring our graveyard up to almost 100 points? Almost. It's it's almost there. And also, now that it's Sunday, I should actually conduct a... Um, I should definitely conduct a prayer. Uh, I don't need all this salt. There's no need for this much salt in the world. So we'll do that. Uh, da, da, da. hello, Bishop. Hello, Bishop. I'm gonna burn more bodies, so just, like, don't look if it offends you. Okay? Cool. Place for burning corpses. We'll burn, burn these corpses. We'll get the ashes. I'll put them in the urns. I'll have the proper pieces for the urns to make good stuff. Did I run out of... Oh, that was the perfect amount of billets. Oh, I have to build it right. Build that one. Burn that one. Uh, burn. Build that one. Burn that one. Burn that one. It's a process that we repeat often around here. There we go. Oh, there we go. And that's how it'll be. All right, here we go. Burn the bodies. Burn the bodies. Burn the witches. Do we burn the witches or burn the bodies? We should burn the bodies. We don't need to burn the witches. There's no need for that. Oh, okay. yeah. Getting there. Getting there, getting there, getting there. I need ash. Give me space for ash. I don't need these bullets anymore. I collected salt. I don't want salt. I want ash. Give me ash. Bring me Ash Ketchum! I want to ask him about his journeys in the world of Pokemon. Also, let's put some more carrots here. We can always have more bodies coming in. Never know when to, You never know when a nice good body will pop on in. Okay, so I have all the ash here. I should be able to make the remainder of the funeral urns. Nice. Sweet. Also, I have a few more blue points. I wonder, is there any other technology that I can research with just 50 blue points? Oh, what was that? Uh, complex printing press. Complex printing press. Nice. I like that. That sounds impressive. So now, I guess what I'll do is I'll check downstairs to see what else I need for a... Um, a gold star prayer. I think I need a better story. Uh, I can probably do that. Uh... No, I don't think I can, because I can only I only have silver star stories. I need a gold star story to be able to make, to make those stuff. Oh, come back here. Why do I have fishing rods in here? There does not need to be a fishing rod in there. Destroy that. I can't destroy the fishing rod? Why? That's dumb. I guess that's why I left it here. <laughs> that's stupid. Okay. 
Well, to make the book, uh, I need the tanning agent from the witch. To make a really good story. I can also make a story, too. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, in order to create the prayer, prayer for faith, I need a gold star chapter. To make a gold star chapter, my best bet is having at least one more gold story. No, I should really have multiple gold stories, because that gives me a 90% chance, which is a really, really good chance. But I don't know where to get gold stories. If I keep doing quests, I will get more stories. I will get more good, good stories. But I have the soft cover, so that's good at least. I'll take my prayer, which is over here. Take that upstairs. I know you completed a book, but I have no idea where you're putting this thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, look! The books are right here. Sweet. I did not realize that. And I believe my prayer is in here, too. Oh, and I had more ash as well. Excellent. Well, more knowledge. All right, you, can I? Here, hold on. I actually don't want you to do this anymore. I'm not interested in getting points like that. I can always buy them from, because if I really, really need them, I can buy them from the astrologer. Instead, you're going to create stories and keep making stories forever. I don't know how long that takes you, but keep on going for it, my pal keep on going for it then i'll take this upstairs i'll have a bit more faith and then i'll go uh i need to stop back at sweet home to grab the rest of the uh porcelain things the porcelain urns and that'll be how that be awesome um, i'd like to say a few words our church is wonderful everybody knows it you know it i know it we know it everybody knows it and anybody who doesn't know it is probably not watching the news because this is all over the TV. Everybody's talking about how good my church is. All day, every day. Church, church, church. Worship, worship, worship. Penance, penance, penance. Tell me your sins or don't. Your donations are welcome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Please drop off your money. I haven't picked up money down there in a while. There's a lot of people in my church, though. Shit. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. I probably have a lot from last time, too. Maybe? I don't know. Guess not. Alright, back to... Actually, let me let me double-check to make sure I have exactly what I need to make the Stone Columbarium. Can I talk to you yet? No. I need the, I need the thing at the right level. Just leave. Leave. Get out of here. Um, Marble Columbarium requires... I just need those other ones. That's it. So let's go back. Go to the home. Grab the rest of them, walk on back, make the thing, do the stuff, and uh, that's what we're going to call it for the evening. That's what we'll do there. A little smaller time on the Graveyard Keeper thing. I apologize for all the internet blips and whatnot. Hopefully it'll be better next time. Usually what I've been trying to do to attempt to avoid these blips is to restart the router before a stream starts to be able to give it like that jump start to be better, and that sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. There's really no convenient way to go about doing it. I'm working on copper internet wire, not fiber. I should be on fiber, but I don't think I had that choice, unfortunately enough, but here we are. We're, we're doing. We're doing and we're living just fine. Just how it's gotta be. So I'll put the marble columbarium over here in the corner. I like that. It's okay. It's not the cleanest, but it's fine. All right, here we go. Columbarium. Nice. Plus 30. Sweet. And I guess I could always just keep building columbariums if I want to. That's one way to go about doing it, but it's a lot of bodies to burn and a lot of a lot of stone and whatnot as well. But, you know, that's, that's not a bad thing. Sweet, you know, come to think of it, what do you sell? Can you sell me anything of use? You can sell me prayers. That's cool. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really want to buy your prayers and stuff. I could, I could buy it, but I don't want to. That's that's of no use to me. All right. Well, I'm gonna head on home. I'm gonna go to sleepy, and that'll be what I call for the night. It was actually a very productive stream indeed. Very very convenient. Very productive. I'd say so. We got two end game items. There's four more left. I learned how to fish. I am the best mason in this entire whole graveyard keeping universe now, which is great because I can carve fences and stuff out of marble into pretty faces and shapes and whatnot. And it was fun. That was good. And I got a feeling, I got a strange feeling, if I can play my cards right, next week might be, might be the last one, potentially. But I don't wanna count my eggs before they hatch, catch my chickens before they hatch, nothing like that. 
No, no, no. Wouldn't want to do that. In any case, thank you everybody so much for coming along. That's the end of the stream. Thank you so much. It was great. I hope you were happy with where you are currently in life. If you are not, that's okay. Keep that smile going on your face. Next time we'll be back with some uh, Hollow Knight. It'll be great. Another cocktail next week, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you, in case you don't already know, for those who potentially get to the end of VODs and whatnot, we do cocktail hours every week, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Use Google to do those conversions. We make cocktails. Today was an espresso cocktail with some Kirschwasser, which is a cherry eau de vie. It was delicious. And I pretty much finished it all. It's just kind of stagnant water left in my cup. But it was lovely, and we always have a good time. It's very, it's nice. We all like chat around with each other. It's like a just chatting session, but it's food, food and drink. It's great. It's a good time. Anyway, I don't need to ramble anymore on about that. Thanks everybody so much for coming along. I appreciate your presence every single time. Hope to see you again next time. If it's the evening where you are, have a wonderful rest of your evening. If it's the morning where you are, please have a wonderful morning as well. And if it's the afternoon, dawn, dusk, or twilight, no matter where we are in the world, the party must continue on so that we can continue to bring smiles to those of ourselves and those around us. Party on, y'all. And until next time.